trends, and uh, we get we get a, a little bit concerned. As you see here, the stocks to use, we've gone from carrying out roughly about a third of our crop five years ago to less than 20% of the crop. And this is total. Um, that's total amount available, not good milling quality um, that, that the millers I can see. So uh, a little concerning. It's not, it's not panic, but it, it, is, it is something that, that, that catches catches the eye. And this is just a graphical representation of what supply and use. Supply is the blue bars, and red is the uh, or, uh, use is the red bar, overlaid with this green line, which is the uh, carryout stocks to use. So you see, we're pretty. It's it's been 07, 08 since we've since we've been this tight on an overall carryout, which is why we've seen this run up. This blue line is milling and baking. Are you guys familiar with what the milling and baking uh, publication is? Anybody know what that is? It's an industry publication that tracks prices. Now these prices are spot values, rail car loaded in Chicago. This does not necessarily represent what millers are paying, um, at, at least not not as an overall percentage, not as a, not total for their position. But if they get in a bind and need to go buy spot cars, these are the prices we've been paying. We've been go, we've been up from twelve dollars um, in the middle of 2014, all the way up to twenty, and some traded all the way up to twenty-four dollars a bushel this year. Now, um, that's a problem for millers when we had eight and nine and ten dollar budget. Uh, so, so, but most of this run up was not only because the acreage is declined, but as you know, we've had um, we've had some some big quality issues this year with the late planting. Um, but more importantly, the uh, the weather that we had at harvest really did um, we really did see quality issues with HVAC. We had high damage. We have vomitoxin issues this year. We also had sprout damage, which which um, leads to falling number issues as well. So that has been a, a uh, most of the reason for the big run up in price, which we're hoping should be an opportunity for you folks. Um, so let me go back a little bit. This is this is this just a Minneapolis uh, futures market. This does not have basis overlaid in it. So it's just a futures market, Minneapolis versus a Minneapolis Durham price. And you see that spread. Um, I don't know, what, what is it at the local elevator? What's the spread between a spring, spring weight 13 Pro and a, and a um, 13 Pro Durham? Is it four or $5 a bushel? Haven't seen it lately. Probably haven't had a Durham bid on the board. For a number of years, probably, right? Okay. Well. Hopefully, this type of uh, spread and price gets um, get some of you folks a little bit interested in uh, finding their So just a little bit, we'll talk about what it would take to to get um, to get something grown. A million quality Durham is going to be 13 protein. It's going to be 85 HVAC, or HVK, depending on which side of the border you're on. Um, it's going to be falling number of 300 plus. We like to see somewhere around 350. We have damage is one to two. Um, dockage uh, max of two. Vomit toxin um, max of two parts per million. That's what we're going to call typically a milling quality dirt. Very small amount of the dirt this year made that made that kind of spec. 20 percent, 30 percent. So we've had to get a little bit more creative. Um, a little bit more flexible on the type of grain that we can that we can uh, bring in. So what we're doing now is we're taking down to 12%, down to a 12% protein. Now I have to caution you there. We have to be pretty selective about that. We have a label deck requirement that we have to meet on protein. So we can't take it all at 12. We still have to average somewhere around 12.8 to 13, 12.7, 12.8 to 13, somewhere in there. But we can take some Durham down to 12% protein. Test weight down to 58. We've taken HBAC all the way down to 60 this year with discounts. Again, we can't take it all at 60, but we can take some um, and, and just kind of just kind of blend it into our overall program. Volume number, we've taken down to 250. In fact, a few instances we've taken down lower than 250 and blended it in. Damage, we've taken up 
to 5%. Um, many times damage in HV, or excuse me, damage in uh, vomit toxin acts uh, two. We've actually taken that up to um, three parts per million recently. Um, so it's actually been it's actually been helpful for us this year, and I think it's been helpful for farmers and uh, local elevators to be able to not not necessarily have a quote a million quality dura, but still be able to deliver on contracts. There are going to be some discounts. Where did you get the discount schedule from? Did you take it from other elevators, or did you guys come with your own? Uh, we have the Dakota Growers discount schedule actually came from Viterra, uh, who owned Dakota Growers. Uh, but I would say this discount, uh, I think we're probably a little bit more aggressive than most on what we'll take down to. But the, the sense promotional discount is fairly industry standard. It's just we're, like I said, we're just able to go slightly lower, or in some cases, um, significantly lower on, on what we can accept. But, but the, the overall numbers, pretty pretty much industry standard, I would say. What's that stone on the bottom? Stones, yeah. rocks, rocks. rocks. Oh. We rarely have problems with that. Okay. Um, we, we have issues with that if it gets, um, if it gets uh, stored on the ground outside oh. and there's no, it's, it's not on a, uh, it's not on a, a platform or concrete or anything. If it's, if it's stored on a, literally a, a, a gravel driveway, that's where and when you get down to the bottom of that, you start to see stones. Uh, we don't like stones. It doesn't um, do a lot of good for our milling equipment. Now we can clean and sort that out to a degree. Uh, we have we have pretty good cleaners. Uh, we would just really like to not receive very many stones. Like I said, though, it's usually not an issue. 